no we mean no singing us for friend guys Hey, what's happening folks? Uh, thanks for joining me once again in the Calder Music Workshop. My name is Paul Bloom, and today we're gonna be finalizing those two electric upright stick bases that we started in the previous video. Uh, basically all the wooden parts, the bridges, nuts, and all that stuff, as well as installing all of the hardware, pickups, and whatnot. Uh, since I left you last, I've sold that cello, which is really cool. Um, hopefully my customer will be coming to pick that up in the, um, the next couple weeks. Um, I've got the final clear coat on stick number one and that one is also sold and uh, as soon as we get this work done uh, that customer will be coming to take possession of that as well. Um, also, uh, some good news, uh, Brother Darren has put together a sweet little recording studio in uh, his spare bedroom and so while we were today I'm going to play you guys some brand new unreleased Brothers Crunch that we've been playing around with up there. So yeah, let's get to it. A um, lot of work to do. Mama said wake up Okay, so I've decided to make a fairly major change. Um, it's gonna complicate things, but in the end will be a hell of a lot um, better design. My original plan was just to simply have a strap lock right about here on the back side, and then another strap lock about at the octave up on the fingerboard. Typically with an upright bass, you don't have your thumb on the back side when you're playing in the upper ranges anyway. The kind of beauty of having the stick bass is that you do have this nice long fingerboard um, where you can play more comfortably. What I'm going to do is build this mounting system. The idea is that this will be the main cutout right here and what's going to happen is that will be mounted to the back side about like that and then this here will be kind of a metal bracket that I'll either have to buy or fabricate and then this is going to be a curved strap the kind of side piece of a, a curved strap of wood that will rest on your on your belly where it mounts here will allow this to pivot like that and then where this mounts to the instrument will allow it to pivot like that the strap will go right here and I think this will work out a lot better um, plus that will leave the nice pretty fingerboard that we got here free of any holes and strap locks and a better range of movement for your hands so so I'm going to start on that and let's see how it goes. Okay, so here we have strapped to my bucket three pieces of, of thin sliced walnut, two different versions of those, um, uh, basically the same thing. And I'm going to uh, make two laminated versions. And then I'm gonna have to head to the hardware store to uh, look for a metal bracket, thread inserts, hardware, and all that shit. So yeah, let's get that done. turned out to take a, a few more clamps than I expected. Um, I think I'll try the second one, uh, just strapping it right to the bucket. Um, 
I don't really have a choice because I'm out of clamps, more or less. So we're getting real close to being done here. We got our tuning machines on, they look real good. Um, the bridge and the tail bar down at the other end, pretty close to the right height, so we're probably gonna be able to leave those alone for the most part. Uh, this uh, nut, however, is definitely high. So we're gonna bust out the sander real quick and knock that down a little bit uh, before we try to continue with this.
tight, super stoked. Everything's looking good. Action is a bit high, both at the bridge and the nut, which I expected. And of course, as I've said before, better too high than too low. You can fix too high. And the way you can fix too low is to replace it. So yeah, super stoked. Um, I'm not gonna subject you guys to probably what's gonna be several hours of tweaking, uh, adjusting, changing over and over again, among other things. I'm gonna notch out a little piece of the bridge right under here so that our realist pickup can fit underneath there uh, without, you know, cocking the rest of the bridge out of position. Uh, I've already done the same on the other one. So we're gonna get that done, get the pickup on there, and uh, final tweaks. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's actually been a couple weeks uh, almost since I left you that last clip and the sticks are done. It actually only took me a couple days to finish what turned out to be some pretty extensive uh, reworking of both bridges. But like I said, they're done. I've actually played a couple of shows on stick number two, which I have decided to keep for myself. Uh, Elizabeth Landry and I just played a couple of shows over the last few days and uh, and I love it. It, was work it works so good. Um, anyway, let's take a look. So like I said, I did a whole bunch of rework in the bridge. In the end, I decided to go with a solid bridge. I really liked the idea of this cool looking arch and everything, but it just didn't carry uh, a, the same quality of sound and enough volume, especially from the D and the G strings down to the pickup, you know, that sits underneath here. And so, uh, you know, most important thing is that it sounds good and these bridges definitely deliver good sound. And so, although neither of these are available, if you're in the market for a new upright, uh, give me a shout at callbloom at gmail, that's C-A-U-L-B-L-U-H-M at gmail, and we'll get started uh, custom building you your own. So here are the two finished harness systems, and uh, you might notice I've, I've got this uh, piece that wasn't in my original design that comes up like this, this extension. If we were to put the guitar strap um, nut, you know, down here, the long fingerboard that sticks way up high is really top heavy so it would tend to fall away from you and you need to kind of hold it up so just by simply adding this little extension here it stays exactly where you want it you know it feels comfortable it's uh super solid love it so yeah um as you can see uh, like i was saying this thing just sits right in place where you ha where you want to have it you know the uh it can be adjusted back and forth uh tilt in and out i've got the uh the setting a little bit inward so it's kind of leaning into me um, and uh, you could even have it further this way, you could have it straight out from your body, uh, but it's... But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up by going next door to me and brother Darren's little recording studio and trying to get a decent uh, recording of this thing so you can really get an idea of what it sounds like. The microphone on this camera does not do it justice. But uh, yeah, um, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share like crazy. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> we'll see you next time. Getting that wham already. ready. See ya.
Vậy. Vậy.